So people call us up on the subject of suspension and they start telling me about the power that they're going to put into this 65 to 70 Mustang. And I start listening to the conversation and they'll say anything from 300 horsepower to 800 horsepower in an old 50 to 55 year old chassis. So the fact of the matter is, is it's really fun to put that kind of power in a car like that, but you've got to do something to help the car not rip itself apart. These cars were built to run on a six or seven inch wide tire on a 15 inch rim or even smaller. The rubber was not great, big sidewalls, leaf spring rear suspension, which at the time wasn't all that great, not that refined, and 200 to 300 horsepower. So now you're taking these cars and doubling or tripling the horsepower. You're doubling or tripling the size of the tire. You're putting rubber down that really does hook up. And the, the chassis is definitely going to be paying the price for all these modifications. You're going to start ripping the suspension out of the car or the frame rails out of the car if you don't do something. So we sell three components. We sell a shock tire brace that's all one piece essentially fitting in the engine bay between the two shock towers and the, and the firewall. We sell subframe connectors, two inch tube. It's mounted in four locations, two in the front, two in the back. Uh, it's ultimately gonna be slightly lower than your frame rail. So if you were to go over train tracks or something, this is gonna be the lowest point you'd scrape on. It saves the bottom of the car. It's probably the longest subframe connector that's on the market right now. Uh, so the benefit of that is that it's picking up as much as it possibly can in the front, as much as it possibly can in the back, and tying the front half of the car to the back half. This is a Z-brace that we've come up with in the last two to three years. The benefit of the Z-brace is it's basically closing this in two geometric loops, one triangle here and one triangle there. The Z-brace is made of aluminum. It's inch and a quarter tube, drilled and tapped on either end. It's threaded on either end so that you can adjust it if your car is a little uh, tweaked for whatever reason. Uh, it's three easy pieces that consolidate into a single tube, so shipping is very uh, inexpensive. The Z-Brace, in order to use it, the car's got to be an inch low. You can't run this at standard height because the drive shaft will get in the way. The other thing is, when you run this Z-Brace, it has some adjustment when you put it into the subframe connectors. Uh, as far as moving it forward and backward or opening up the triangles if you want to. The downside is is that uh, ultimately you should have the exhaust installed after because many exhaust companies are a little bit lazy and they install the exhaust slightly low and this is going to run into it. So if you have the option, install the subframe connectors and the Z-brace first and then put in your exhaust over the top and you can fit up to two and a half inch of exhaust above these subframe connectors and this Z-brace.